Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angel Gale and I'm so happy you're here. In today's video, I'm showing you guys how I get this holiday hair and makeup look. If you are interested in seeing how I do this, then let's just go ahead and get into the video. All right, I'm gonna start with my Morphe by Morphe and Meredith Foaming Primer. If you want your makeup to literally be set all day, I live by this stuff. This stuff is really cool and it smells like cotton candy. It's literally foam. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it all over my face. While that sets, I'm going to go in with my Morphe and Meredith eyebrow gel. And it comes with this candy baby spatula and spoily. And what I normally do is I start with combing my brows and then I'll grab some in the spatula with the spatula and I'll start to apply and then I just start combing them in the direction that I want my brows. Alright, so now that that is set, this is my NARS Skin Reflecting Foundation in the shade L4 and I do probably I'm almost out. Normally about four to five pumps. This is my foundation brush that I literally got from a TikTok shop. So I just start applying it. So with a little bit more foundation, I'll take my beauty blender and I go around my eyes. I haven't been using um, concealer lately, so this is just what I've been doing. Next is my Halo Glow Beauty Wands in light medium. There's days where I'll do that technique where you do the bronzer first and then you do your foundation over it. I've been doing it like this lately for some reason. But I do it like that whenever I'm doing my like everyday makeup, which I put out. So if you're interested in that, go watch that. Fonted. This is just an e.l.f. duo complexion brush. It's really nice because it doesn't move my foundation around or anything. This is my Maybelline Fit Me um, setting powder in Fair. And then I just take this triangular sponge that I got from Amazon and I go ahead and pat mainly right here where I really want a good highlight because again I don't use concealer and then I'm going to set my t-zone this is my Milani bronzer in Sunkissed, and I'm just gonna take my ColourPop F21 and gold brush and I just set my cream contour with this bronzer. This is my Eco Tools soft powder brush and I'm just going to dust these harsh lines. This is my Revolution highlighter in Dare to Divulge. I've had this brush for forever. This is the Morphe M438. I just kind of dab and I'll put it right in the highlighter. But I don't like to go too crazy because I am naturally oily, which is why I do a lot of matte products. That is my face makeup. Moving on to the eyes. So this is an e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow in Disco Queen. I'm trying to follow my crease. It's starting on the inner corner, but I don't want to go throughout my whole eye. I just want to do like kind of like a mid highlight. And then right here is where I will dab to blend out that harsh line. And if you wanted it to pop more, you could do like a wide eyeshadow under it. Um, I just didn't, <laughs> but that is an option if you wanted to pop more. This is my favorite eyeliner of all time. This is the NYX Epic Wear Waterproof in Black. We are going to do a wing and it's going to be pretty straight out, um, maybe a little bit of a curve. 
just to kind of give me more of that cat eye effect, which I like. Um, but you can do whatever eyeliner that you like to do. You can do graphic, you can do curves, you can do little. Um, I'm going for a little bit more dramatic with my eyeliner. Just like a slight little curve to get that kind of effect. And then if you need to, you can always take an angled brush and just straighten it out if need be. Um, if you're trying to really hmm. For standing up and using a little mirror, great proud of myself. Once that dries, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I'm using a different mascara today. I'm using the Lancome Idol Mascara. And I'm just going to focus on the mid to ends and just blink it on. And then from here, if you wanted, you could add falsies or you could um, also put them on the bottom. But if you know me, I like my eyes to pop, so I don't put it on the bottom because <laughs> it's just a personal preference. But that's the eyes. Very simple, very easy. All that's left is our lips. So let's get into that. This I'm going to go in with my NYX Lip Pencil and Nude Truffle. And just line my lips so that I have a good guide for my lipstick. When I think holiday, I think glitter, I think red. So we're doing a red lip today. This is my Kat Von D liquid matte lip in pink and tongue and it's the most beautiful red and i'm obsessed with the packaging this is my favorite i've had this for about a, over a year now um and alec actually got this for me so and it turned out to be my perfect shade now to set it i'm obsessed with the setting spray right now holiday makeup. Now that we have our makeup, we gotta do the hair. My hair is still kind of wet, so I'm gonna go blow dry it, and I will be right back. Um, I did clip in some extensions for some added volume, and I ended up adding some length. This is my Ride or Die Babyliss Nano Titanium, one and a fourth inch. This I've been using ever since I was a cosmetologist doing hair in a salon. Like, this is my baby. I just, this is my favorite. So um, I'll have this link down below. Always gotta start with heat protectant. This is my Sebastian um, Trillion heat protectant. It smells so good. So for me, I'm never really uniform with how I do my styling. So I'm just going to be grabbing pieces. And I like to alternate. What I'm gonna do is I will start at the mid and curl my way up. And I'll do this a few times so that maybe y'all can kind of like grasp what I'm saying. And I'll twist and twist and twist. And then once I get there where I can't twist again, I pull it through and twist and twist like that. You can see my hair a lot, but it'll work out. Just trust the process. So that means this one goes forward. So start at the mid, twist, pull down, twist up. Let's sit for like a second. Twist, twist. Can't twist again, so I'm going to pull down, twist up, pull down, twist up. And then twist, twist, can't no more. Also, obsessed with my hair color. If you are ever in the DFW area or you're cool with driving to Dallas, Texas, go see my girl Evelyn at the Ball Salon off of McKinney Avenue. Let her know I sent you.
wanna spend another night by myself Cause I know, I know, I know, I know That I would be told to let you go all right, so I'm gonna repeat that same process on this side. So since they're cooled down, we're just going to gently brush them out because we wanna keep this amazing volume. And then from here, if you wanted to just kind of tease, you can add some texture spray, dry shampoo, whatever you like to do to get that volume. And voila, these are the perfect holiday curls. I think they are so fun. All right, guys, that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this holiday makeup and hair tutorial. If you like videos like these, please hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. Vlogmas is coming up and I am attempting to do it this year, so I have a lot planned for y'all. Forget to follow me on my social media at Angel Gaelic So. If you are looking for an apartment in the DFW area, I offer free apartment searching services, so go ahead and hit that link down below and answer some questions and I'll get back to you ASAP. I also started an Etsy shop. There's a few Christmas items on there. If you wanna get in the Holly Dolly spirit, go check those out. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.